Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna be showing you guys or telling you guys about all the mods that I have done to my car so far. I've had it a little bit over a year and if you guys have been following the journey, everything pretty much that's almost everything that's been done to the car has been posted on this channel. And I'm still getting questions here and there on what mods I'm, I've done to the car. And um, I'm hoping this video actually helps a lot of you guys that do not feel like going through the videos. Um, so I wanna start off by saying that this is a 2014 335i so i'm gonna start off um, with the exterior which that's the most noticeable thing you guys know that i had the m performance lip on there before that's actually the lip that it came with uh, but i now have the um, jhp uh, well the lip is from jhp dynamics so uh, it's actually called the uh, p style lip and it's all carbon fiber um, it does sing a little bit low so if you are on the low side keep that in mind um you know all you got to do is just be careful and hope that you don't run into anything on the road next uh we have the m performance grills these were already on the car they're actually gloss black um, i'm actually thinking about going to the m3 style then we also have the carbon fire mirror caps which these um, i'm actually going to end up removing them um, they have seen better days my car has been sitting out in the sun for the past maybe three, four months. And honestly, I mean, they weren't really, I guess, they weren't great to begin with. Uh, they looked great whenever I first got them. But as you guys can see, they're showing damage already inside the They're showing damage already inside the clear coat. So. These are pretty much trashed. Um, I do want to get a set of, I would love to get a set of the M3 um, style caps. I might end up going back to the white for now. Uh, so going around back, we have the M Performance spoiler. This is actually OEM. It came on the car and I'm actually considering, or not considering, I've considered already. I'm gonna be getting rid of this spoiler. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna hold on to it. But I am going to be getting the um, either the PSM style or the one that JHP Dynamics had. I keep, you know, I keep switching my mind back and forth. Um, next, we have the diffuser. This diffuser is actually from eBay. Um, I made a video about it, and I think I paid 105, if I'm not mistaken, 110. But then I did get it painted, which was actually more money. So I think. At the end of the day, I ended up paying more than, probably more than I should have. Um, I, di I didn't really do my research uh, whenever it came to getting this diffuser. I should have just opted and got the um, carbon fiber one, which I think I would have paid maybe like $30, $40 more. But I mean, I'm just kind of holding on to it because I am waiting on a different diffuser that I would like to get eventually. Um, but it still looks nice. Uh, the fitment's pretty much near perfect. I might end up selling this or I might end up doing a giveaway on it so if you haven't um, subscribed if you if you're interested in this more than likely I, I might do a giveaway but I haven't decided when yet so stay tuned for that um, and then here we have the rear bumper extensions I actually got these off of um, Aliexpress they were 160 i believe and these are actually made pretty well um i haven't seen any issues with them yet uh but hopefully i don't fingers crossed they're i mean I, they're not that common a lot of the times that the ones that you guys do see on other people's cars are the ones that come out flat and these actually have like a little flare so it's a little bit more aggressive which you know that's pretty nice i like them now I have the Sasker extensions. I've had these for the longest. Actually, I had them on my old F30. Um, I used to have a red one, 328, and that was maybe about, at this point, maybe three years ago that I had it, for, almost four years ago. Eventually, I would like to get a set of carbon fiber ones just so it matches with the whole kit. Now, wheels and suspension. I am running uh, BC Forge wheels. Uh, they're uh, HBR fives, and I'm also running on uh, BC Racing coilovers. Uh, they're not the extreme low, so you don't really have to get extreme low if you want to go low. Because I still had room to spare, and um, 
yeah well now because of the lip I ended up uh, raising the car a little bit so you guys can actually see some wheel gap not that much but I mean before the fender was actually sitting right here so now we got some room to play with and I'm actually thinking about going to a 245 um, 35 because right now I'm running 235s um, I get I still get this question a lot even though I made a video about it the wheels are 19 by 10 and 19 by 9 up front I'm um, in the back I'm running 275 35s and in the front like I said earlier they're 235s 35 but um, oh and the uh, so I don't know if I said the opposite. Those are 19 by 10 plus 40. And these are 19 by 9 plus 35. Uh, but I'm actually running a 12 millimeter spacer. So that's going to make them 19 by uh, 20. 19 by 9 plus 23 offset. Um, so you guys can see I still have some room to spare with. And the only reason why I'm able to fit these the way that, that they fit now is because I also made a video where I actually camber the wheels inside a little bit more. And I think that does it for the exterior. I mean, I do have the the V brace wrapped in yellow to match with the yellow calipers. Oh, the uh, muffler delete. I still get questions on these on this one a lot, uh, guys. It's just a muffler delete. It was actually custom made out of a stainless steel, three inch all the way with four inch tips. If you guys are interested in the tips, I do have them in the uh, description. All right, so now that we're kind of done with the exterior, you guys already know that I do want to get a different spoiler. I would like to get the LCI tail lights at some point, um, different mirror caps. Interior-wise, all I have is the carbon fiber e-brake handle because I, I had the intentions of doing everything in carbon fiber, but I just really haven't gotten to that yet. Um, I keep going back and forth between spending the money on carbon fiber or getting a different trim and doing getting it actually professionally painted in gloss black so that's why I haven't gotten to that yet you guys can see I still have these actually I ended up uh, liking them a lot more than what I thought so I just left them on it oh well, guys my battery's about to die um, engine wise I'm running a VRSF intercooler charge pipe catalyst down pipe and uh, AFE intake and tuning from MHD, which is H2 Plus, um, using 93 octane. And I think that's gonna do it for the car. I think that's all the mods that I can think of. If you guys have any questions on anything, um, please drop a comment or send me a message. And like always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.